Stevie Page. Um, today we are going to show you how to maximize your maxi, um, different ways that you can style your maxi skirt. Um, I think a couple weeks ago we showed you how to style your Irma, so if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, but today all I have is my maxi skirt, um, hair tie, and a belt. Okay, that's all you'll need. And I have on leggings today only to be able to show you these different ways. Most of these outfits that I wouldn't wear. So, to start out, um, I would wear the maxi as a maxi skirt, just which was, I guess, its intended purpose. There's different ways that you can do this, though. I love wearing a tank top or something tight up top with a maxi skirt. Um, I can, you can wear it up high-waisted. Okay, um, I'll try to step back to show you. Or you can take the top and fold it. Either way, um, like the high waist is more business appropriate, um, and then the low waist is just comfortable. Okay, um, one of my favorite ways to wear the maxi skirt is to take the corner, you, you literally just gather it, okay, in one area, on one side and tie it in a knot and then pull the knot. Um, I love this because it allows for more breezeway, it allows you to show off your shoes. Um, I tend to do this and wear Converse's um, or some cute sandals and, and the knot is not annoying. I think some people would are wondering if it would be annoying, it's not. It also makes it easy, we drive SUVs, so it makes it easy to get in and out of the vehicle. You just grab it um, and get in. So, one of my favorite ways to wear the maxi. Another way that you can wear your maxi skirt is as a dress. Um, pull it up, and I would probably do this with a tank top um, sometimes, or not tank top, depending on the pattern of the skirt. I like the tank top on this one showing, um, or you can just do a strapless bra, but you can wear it like this. This um, maxi skirt is an extra, extra small. Um, kind of surprised me when I could wear it. I thought I'd be more of an extra small or small, but um, I am an extra, extra small in the maxi skirt, so definitely tell you to try them on. But I like this, and it's, it's definitely tight up here, so I don't feel like it's going to fall. Um, this is one way, or you can, if you want it shorter, bring it up, fold this down, give you some ruching up here. Again, you can take the um, tank top off if you don't want a tank top on, or wear a tank top. Sorry, you will hear our children in the background. Um, so, you can wear the maxi as a dress. Another way that you can do your dress, um, your maxi as a dress, is with a belt. Put the belt on. Um, you can do it down here. If you want to have it tighter, and I'm just tying my belt just for the sake of time. Um, and pull some out. I didn't think I would like this, but I actually do like this pattern, this style with the belt. Kind of gives shows off your form a little better. Or you can bring the belt up and go right underneath your bust and make it tighter. Again, just tying the belt for the sake of time, sorry. Especially if you are a little concerned it's going to fall, but I'm telling you it's really tight. You shouldn't have that problem. So, this is a way that you can wear your maxi as a dress. Alright, another way that you can wear your maxi is as a poncho, okay? Take it off, put your arm through. Put, you want the um, tag to go in the back, in the seams on the side. Kind of create a cow's neck, pull it down. And you can wear it as a poncho. I love this. Um, I would probably, I could probably wear leggings with this because it's still long enough, or I might would wear some skinny jeans. Um, so 
So another way if you are just feeling like this is a lot going on is you can take your belt and put it on. Now I suggest only putting it on in the front um, because I'll explain why in a minute. But you can do it like this. It kind of keeps it tighter to you. Keep the back out. Um, I like this a lot. It kind of dresses it up a little bit. If you put the back in, and I literally just slid it in, it's fine, but it feels a little constricting um, to me. So you would have to decide. I know if I'm trying to get my nine month old up and off the ground a lot throughout the day, this might be a little more difficult. Um, but again, I would probably wear this with some skinny jeans. Um, if you're comfortable doing leggings like this, you could do leggings as well. Still would want a tank top or long sleeve, depending on the weather, um, to wear underneath the poncho. So that's your maxi as a poncho. This is another one of my woo, favorite ways to wear a maxi that I just found out. Um, and this one will blow your mind. It is wearing it as a vest. So you put it on normal, pull it all the way up. Um, I've got the tag in the back, pull it all the way up, and then you take your head, no, you take your arms through, sorry, no, you don't, sorry. You take your head, and you put your head through. And this is wearing the maxi as a vest. I love this. Again, would probably still wear a tank top or long sleeves underneath. Um, I would probably do either leggings because it still covers me up or um, skinny jeans. So this is as a vest. I, I will say that this is an extra, extra small. It's a little tight right here for me. Um, so I would probably do an extra small or small. So you just have to figure out um, if yours would work. Now, another cute way, again with the belt, and you got the vest on, kind of got all the inside fabric turned. Take your belt, put it on. I love this. And I plan on doing this in the fall. You take your belt. Put it now, I like this. It kind of gives me some more fluff up here. You know, it makes me look fuller, which I like. Um, you could keep it separate and show off your tank top underneath. Or you can pull it together and not. So it's up to you. Um, I love the maxi as a vest. So very comfortable, flattering. Again, I would probably wear it with either leggings or skinny jeans. And you could still do the long sleeves depending on the weather or a tank top underneath. The last style that I'm going to show you all today is the maxi as an, another type of dress or cover-up. So this way, you take the maxi and put it upside down. Turn it upside down. Tag in the back. Sorry, that's my son. Um, tag in the back. So you put the, the waistband at your thighs. Um, again, this is an extra, extra small, so I might would size up because I'm a little thicker down here. Um, but it, it's comfortable still. Pull the sides together and go behind your neck. This is where the hair tie comes in great use. You can tie it if you don't want to use a hair tie. Um, but for the sake of the video and timing, I'm going to use a hair tie. So tie it behind and then you can tuck this fabric and you've got it. A nice little dress. The cover, I love the cow's neck right here. Again, gives me some more volume in the right areas. Um, if you do not like all of this showing, again, you could do a tank top or you could do a strapless or no bra um, if you're able to. Um, or a beach cover up. You could take the tank top in the back, pull it up and put it with the knot up here. 
kind of covers you up more. And the knot back here behind my neck, I don't even feel, so it's not uncomfortable at all. Oh, my bra showing, sorry. But if you want to cover up more. I love this. I never thought about wearing a maxi like this, but this is super cute if you're going out with the ladies or if you want a beach cover up. So, we have showed you several ways to maximize your maxi. Um, you can wear it as a skirt, you can wear it as a dress, different types of dresses. You can wear it as a vest or a poncho. Um, I hope that you were able to find um, a different way that you can wear your maxi and are able to try it out in the near future. Um, if you are looking to purchase um, a maxi skirt, uh, please check us out at Lula Rose TV page. Um, we are on Facebook, Periscope, um, or you can email us at lularosetvpage at gmail.com. Um, please subscribe to us, our YouTube videos. We plan to show you other ways to do styling tips with some Lularo um, styles. And um, yeah, more videos are coming in the near future. So thank you again, and I hope y'all have a good day.